my channel i hope you guys are staying safe and staying hydrated so happy start this sunday if you're new here hi and um, my name is rena you're very much welcome here and if you're returning welcome back so um we're just gonna hop into our mods recommendation um i didn't find i didn't really find a lot of mods as well because i y'all yeah, college is just it's just hectic y'all and plus I have Kubrick and listen, I hate Kubrick and people are just not, you know what I mean? So I don't get too into it. But um, let's just hop into our mod recommendation first and then um for this after the mod recommendation, uh, I'm gonna just give you guys like a list of mods that I use that, that can help you basically to decorate your farm. Okay, so this is the first mod I want to show you guys. Super cute. I think it's like a it's called cozy rooms and kitchen. So it, it comes with um the kitchen and also comes with some furniture. And these are super cute. Personally, I'm not gonna take the kitchen because it's not my aesthetics, but um I will take the furniture. <laughs> I don't know why I just be hoarding and um, but I think this is super cute next has this cute background image for your character um image thingy I think these are super cute um I might invest in an in one and um, the one that I have right now I've been having that for a while now so I might swap over I think next is this because why not it's always gonna be free Palestine um I think this is super cute plus they have like the other like the little art like this is super cute just to have in your game because why not you know what I mean super cute Free pass signs. Next. Okay, so now we're gonna hop into the mod that you can use to help decorate your farm. These are very helpful, y'all. Um, I use these mods a lot to help decorate my farm. So the first one is Astro's Beam and Kitchen mod for farm building interiors. This is godsend. Like, you can customize. Let me show you guys. You can customize so many things. Like, you can customize the, um, the beams. You can customize the log panels. Like, basically, the things that are highlighted in colors, you can customize it to different color or like um they have they themselves as well have like some um like different textures like maybe wood you know what i mean like it's really really handy especially if like um if you don't have a mod that could change the outer interior and then even if this i use it with um this mod that changed the outside interior as well because um why not because um it changed like um what are these calls the pillars yeah and i changed my stair color as well so i'm just gonna show you guys here they have a they have a guide as well so it's trust me it's not hard so this is this is my um this is my test save i'm gonna show you guys um a little bit of how it works so where's my asters beam so here it is and i'm gonna pull up um the config thing as well so i can show you guys okay so basically they have a file a folder that's called example config with screenshots so this shows you all the different this shows you all the different way like colors and you know textures that you can use this is just examples so you can look at that but this is where you want to go to find the actual colors so you see you have beam and stairs beams big pillar crib kitchen lock pan lock pan. So you match what you see in the config and look wait let me stop myself I feel like I'm you have all the different colors that you can change them to and different like textures as well which is really really handy basically you come into the folder into assets and um, you know the look at the pictures you can do the kitchen as well y'all and um, take the picture let's say that like, panel um you know you just, all you have to do is just copy paste the name or you know and um, type the name or remember the name and then all you have to do is just find where it you know if being like has what we're in beams and you just literally type it in here how you want to type it it's not hard y'all super easy and there's something it's so so much customization that you can do like um if you're playing multiplayer you can customize um your friends or whoever cabin as well which is really handy i did the cabin even though i'm playing single player i don't know why but these are um, the stuff that i customize i customize my cellar spouse room log and um, panel and um, the log near the stairs farm wall divider i did the divider and the farm wall stairs see and um, the stairs are white because if y'all ever wondered that and i customized this well this is more custom for me like um i took the asset from the seasonal farmhouse because i liked it and i put it here i was going to show you guys a spouse but i forgot <laughs> that divorced everyone because i was trying to test something out but yeah and um, the asters b mod is super good for decorating let's move on to the next one the next one is called debug mode y'all this is super handy like let's say if you want to place things it helps you to place it like exactly where i use this mostly for my custom spouse um rooms and patios because it helps a lot i'm going to show you guys how it works in game it'll show you the tiles 
um, numbers so you can place things exact so all you have to do um, you just press U I, I press U to bring up like the grids okay so I opened the thing and I set mine to close brackets so you can enable it and um, are you going to the folder going to config once you load the game with the mod in it you'll see what um how to bring it up basically so mine's close bracket so I first I do U to bring up the grids and then I press this and you see it shows me exact the exact point that I want so once again I said I use this for like um the mod that's called custom um spouse rooms and custom spouse um patios because it helps me to like let's say if I want to put um my spouse house right near here it helps me to pinpoint the tile that I can put it to or if I want to do two two spouse houses it helps a lot with that yeah I think this is super handy for um stuff like that okay so this one's called flip buildings okay so this one is called flip building it does exactly what it said let me show you guys see okay let's say you place here and the doors are over here you can use this to flip it so the doors are over here so let's say this is the original placement and you can use this mod to flip it so it can like the doors and the windows can be over here so maybe the word is inverted i think or i don't know <laughs> okay so construct farmhouse building and then you see a new thing here flip buildings you can even i don't know you could do it to your house well i knew but i never tried it see you see how it flipped it and then boom yeah i think that's super handy if you're designing your farm it, it can help okay so this next one if you play sims and you're aware of the move by object cheat it's similar to this this can help you it basically makes you move the furniture pixel by pixel faster and like let's say look at this like this is the original way like you can't play stuff too close you know what i mean but with this mod you can place it super close i'm gonna show you guys how it is in game let me show you guys how this works though let me just pop that there like you see that i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna put this do you see how i can't put the chair directly in the middle i'm gonna put it directly in the middle now just pop that out look at that is it so much better like than it just staying at the edge let me move this one as well is that close enough i think okay close enough look how aesthetically pleasing that is like come on now look how good it looks but i don't think you can interact with it that good see i don't know maybe it look kind of weird <laughs> it looks like she's sitting on the edge but it's whatever it, it, listen we're just here for the looks okay we're just here for the looks but yeah i really love this mod okay so this is the next mod i really really love and i think i've mentioned this so much time in my video is called move it basically it allows you oops, so basically it allows you to move any objects in the game like it's super handy let me just show you guys here okay so i'm gonna show you guys how it, like, how it works in game so like let's say if i'm trying to get over here i can just like pop you can move anything you just have to press the hot key and for me let me show you guys for me my hot key is out for me my hot key is out where is it let me show you guys in the, um, the selection thing yeah mine is out so i just press left out and i can move literally anything like look how handy i can even move these how handy is that you don't have to go to robin to move your house like look at that i think the only thing i can't move is my farmhouse but everything else you can move it's so handy and this is built in in the map so it's not considered an object do you get me and you can move stuff as well let's say if you're trying to get um this and it's like a spot. okay so this is the next one basically it's like you can place furniture as anywhere it's like a redux of the because i think there was auto one but there's a redux of everything but this one is broken down into different ones so like um you'd have to get all of it if you want to place the certain um furniture outside so like place couch and armchairs outside furniture anywhere where it is you have to get that and then they have the links here you can place lamps outside fish tanks outside couches and armchairs outside bookcase in china um cabinet outside dressers and fireplace rugs outside so i'm just gonna show you guys an example in game so let me show y'all let me just spawn a couch and let me spawn a rug look at that y'all look at that it's outside like come on now like this is super handy and then you know what even better like <laughs> even better if you have like um an alternate thing and you want to bring out like an alternate um, object at object and you want to put it outside let's like, say if i'll have an AT. like for the sake of that i just said it like you know you can swap it as well to change it what you want 
super duper handy y'all you have to get this you have to get this like you, you have to get it you have to <laughs> okay next okay so this other one y'all super handy i'm telling you it's called reset terrain features so it can literally generate all of these stuff that you see here or it can clear all this stuff that you see here, or you can reset like let's say if your farm is a bit buggy or whatever you can reset it or if you want to clear stuff like let's say if you're starting a new save and you can't be bothered to clean up the whole place you can just clear everything or if you want to bring it back i don't know why but you can just generate it super handy i'm gonna show you guys how it is in game so this is my my key binds for this at l let me press that there we go so i'm gonna show you guys first i'm gonna generate actually oh i have stuff over here so i'm just gonna clear all these like you know what i mean stuff right here mind you if you say affect all location it'll affect all locations so sometimes i don't think you should click this you know what i mean like let's say if you're in town or if you're on another side somewhere else on your farm or another place that's not your farm you know what i mean like let's say if i'm at the bus stop and i want to clean up i wouldn't click this because it's gonna affect everything on my farm as well just get me especially if you have objects to look on this could like um some of your um cross stuff or whatever so i'm just gonna click that i'm gonna click these because i want to get rid of these weeds bushes i'll leave the fence because i don't want to get rid of my fence look at that boom you automatically clear everything so easy and if you want to generate it back then boom <laughs> That, I don't know if people would use this for like a cheap to get resources as well, but um, a buff, I guess. But I just mostly use it to clear stuff, so clear. yeah, super handy. Okay, so this is the final one. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this as well in my mods, um, like my mods list video. Y'all, super handy. It's called smart building, like it says what it does, you know what I mean? You know, when you have to be placing the stuff one by one. You know, it no no longer you have to do that. It just bulks does it yourself. I'm gonna show you guys how it is in game. So my key bind is shift and L to bring that up. It kind of not. I won't say it kind of overlap this, but it's fine. Cause I just press X. You guys can change it um the config if you want. Um, and I don't think it's shift and L. I think I set it to be shift and L, but whatever. Okay, let me just cheat and get some um pavement like lauren let me cheat to get some spin and i'm also gonna cheat to get some what else can i cheat to get i'm just gonna say couch um table because i just want to show you guys okay and now look at this gone are the days you have to do this one by one you feel me and then you press ok boom so easy easy peasy lemon squeezy and then boom and then boom look at it and then this this will help you even if it's red you can still place it see it helps you to place it exactly where you want to place it and then if you want to take it up oh not my thing you take it up and then this pick up objects this pick up the pavement and then this pick up furniture and this pick up fence so we're gonna place it back make sure when you place it in the back you have the draw back on I'll place it right there i'm gonna put by my shit right there a little table here okay and look at this y'all look how everything just combines together i'm just using the furniture adjustment mod like look 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 how wonderful and with i think with this you can insert items into the machine like automatically but i never used this to be honest but yeah but y'all look at this you can with this you can draw how you want it to do super handy super super handy just delete all that because we don't want all that and yeah super handy smart building y'all should definitely have okay so that's the end of my little mod section now so first i, I already did mod recommendation and then this little section is like um mod that oh girl oh she was starving <laughs> And then this little part is just um stuff that you could use to help decorate your farm and i hope you guys test them out as well because they're really handy who is calling me girl not now not now but anyways um i know i said i wanted to do like a winter but i don't want this video to be too long you know what i'm saying i might show you guys just um a sh it won't be a full gameplay but i did say i want to show you guys how my winter farm is so i'm just going to show you guys that and then we're gonna end the video okay so i'm gonna tell you guys something so i'm upgrading my farm so i might get married soon make some noise y'all what the fudge okay so um let me just pop in pop out let me pop out oh girl why is my hair that was my hair that color i don't think so this period because i was like nah what was that that was so random nothing new in here I, I can't wait to go outside and i just need to do my dailies y'all 
but I cannot wait to go outside and show you how pretty winter is, y'all. It's so pretty. It's actually so pretty. I love it. Just pop these in. So some blueberry aloe. Ale okay, can, you know, do their little magic. Ooh, the pineapple wine. It finally did its thing. Oh, I'm waiting for the star fruit, but it's, I don't think it's gonna be done for now. Whatever. We don't have any more cast put in, so we leave. We are leaving. And the stuff, yeah, I'm still waiting for these to reach like um iridium in five days. Okay, calm. Okay, so we're gonna go outside now. Oh, she's so excited to show you guys how my winter looks. It's so cool. It's just, I want to say I love it more than spring, but I don't because I love spring. Spring is so pretty, like the, especially with my recolor and stuff. Let me just check the mail. Glazed ham. Aliza song. I just want to tell you, I mean, I finished all we talk about. Girl, I don't even know who this is. I might have to see her face. Let me just, y'all, look how pretty. Okay, why it had to be foggy now, but it's still pretty. It's still pretty. Like, come on now, let me my kitty cat. Like, I'm just going to like walk her. Let me get Mari. See, I already realizing. Oh, what's that sound? Oh yeah, um, Robin. I forgot she's upgrading my house. Okay, y'all, we're just gonna go around my farm. And you're gonna just look at the stuff I planted. These are all winter stuff, um, and they're modded. Most of them are modded stuff as well. Like, I still don't know what to do with this, y'all. Oh yeah, I did show you guys that I have a new shed. Let me just collect these. I'm just gonna pop it in here for now. But I love the winter farm so much. It's so pretty. Like, look, y'all. I don't know why these damn bees are still here. I won't lie. Because I don't think there's any honey producing. Because I do have the better honey and mod. Let me show y'all. Well, I did set it so um no honey is producing in winter when it's outdoors. Only indoors. So let me see if it actually works. Yeah, because I've I think I've been having 97 honey since the end since fall the end of fall so i guess the bees are just there for a study oh yeah this is a modded thing that's me like um log beehive i don't think it's gonna um yeah it's not gonna produce any honey for now but y'all isn't my goddamn f isn't the winter farm gorge yeah ignore those i don't know where to put that yet but winter is winter is given let me zoom out tell me y'all oh I was like, girl, bro, is this the furthest I can zoom out? Because I would love to get like a whole pick. How do y'all even get rid of this? Hold on. I hate when I zoom out, it gets kind of like, you know what I mean? Let's see. Let me fast, I'll probably fast forward this part. I'm just going to take a little screenshot. What is this? Mod option. Oh, I can get from there. Okay, let's zoom back in because I don't know why it moves like that when it's like zoom all the way out. Okay. But yeah, my winter farm is too pretty. A little flower area. I need to harvest these. But um, these are, I think these are modded so it grows all year round. So it's whatever for that. But y'all can tell me winter. Oh, look at the little steps. Y'all can't tell me winter in my place isn't pretty. I remember when I took a picture of this and it was so gorgeous. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little um, winter update of my farm. No. I'm gonna show you guys a little winter update of my farm because I think it's super cute. Girl, stop trying to eat the goddamn raisin. It's super cute. Actually, I don't think um I haven't have I been in town? Let's go in town. Let me oh that go over here as well. Oh the winter is so pretty, man. And for you guys and um, to know this is a mixture of um Wittily recolor and blue color with reshade if you guys want to know how to edit it and um, i have the video i have done a video on that basically so you guys can check that out i might put it in the description let's just check in town and see how it looks because i don't remember if i checked in town who be calling me who's this let's check okay they hang up okay but i love winter y'all winter is so pretty i'm a winter babe now i'm still spring babe you know what i mean but i am a winter babe i have to go all the way around gosh Ooh, let's check out the beach y'all and see how the beach looks i just want to see gorgeous y'all i love it i love it i love it i love it i love winter and look at this shell i've been dying to get can y'all get away from me but yeah um 
I'm gonna be heading in the video here and um, thank you guys for watching stay safe and stay hydrated and yeah and next video well next Saturday Sunday will be a longer gameplay because you know I just because I had a lot a bunch of mods I want to show you guys and some stuff just to help people decorate their farm as well and I want to show you guys my winter farm update so yeah that's just it for now and um, stay safe stay hydrated and yeah that's just it bye bye mm -hmm.